Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading for September 2022. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Let's see what's going on with you and the person you're currently thinking about for the month of September and then we'll look at your love life overall for September. So let's see what's going on with Virgo and the person they're thinking about. Okay, this is someone who's kind of fearful when it comes to the relationship with you because, of, well, I don't know why, but this is why they're not taking a leap. I see hesitation when it comes to taking a leap. This person is thinking before leaping, before taking action towards you. So this tells me that they're most likely fearful of getting hurt. Some of you are mad at this person. Or have some words for them or um, may have said things to them that made them fearful it could be that you haven't received communication from them some of you are frustrated with that but I see in September they're gonna be kind of hesitant and it's because of them being in deep contemplation trying to make a decision the mutual energy here in September, there's a deep connection and they will come out of this hermit mode. You could be dealing with a fellow Virgo or an Aquarius, but they will come out of the hermit mode in September, but you're just needing to know why they're distant. And that is because they are fearful and they are thinking this through. Their next action is to still be guarded. And the communication is not going to be as great. Because, I mean, keep in mind, we do have this retrograde happening in September. So that could be why. And they are very guarded. I don't know what's wrong with this person. They seem very afraid. Near future energy. They have a lot on their plate. Or this could be you. Someone is have Someone has a lot going on. That is a, it could be affecting somebody financially. Someone has a financial burden. I see that improving in September, but it is a burden. It is an issue there. And there is this energy of unfinished business with this person, but they're so like fearful and back and forth and iffy. What's going on with Virgo when it comes to love for September? Romantic feelings. So there's feelings involved here. But we have crossroads. Them, them needing to make up their minds. They need to pick a door. An addiction. And liquid courage. Someone could have an alcohol addiction. This is not for everyone, obviously. But these two cards are quite obvious. So let me see. Okay. What else do we have for Virgo for September? You got it bad, drowning in emotion, unable to focus, isolation, calling from unknown numbers, missing you, unable to make a move. This could be them or it could be you. If it's them, I don't know. I mean, it could be their fear that has them doubting. But we have sound of music, signs through songs, healing music, meditation sounds, singing bowl, nature song, pay attention to song, pay attention to lyrics. Out with the old, in with the new. Transformation. We have keep your options open. Some of you may, um, you might get frustrated or decide to keep your options open, transform, focusing on you is what I'm seeing because this person is indecisive and fearful. Let's look at your main spread. What's going on with Virgo for the month of September when it comes to their love life? What's going on with Virgo when it comes to love? Yeah, 
I see you getting really bored with this situation. Could be dealing with a cancer. Some of you. Taurus energy. Aquarius again. And Libra. So. This person is trying to heal. Like they have the three of swords in reverse. And they have the chariot in reverse because they're not making any move here. And you have the four of cups in reverse, which tells me you'll get extremely bored with the situation. This person, this is so frustrating because they see you as the hierophant. Some of you, this could be that you guys are married, but if you're not married and they're seeing you as a higher friend, this means they want commitment with you, but clearly they're not making a move. I guess they're trying to heal from something that hurt them. It could be in this relationship or in their personal life. There's this feeling of imbalance and unfairness here with the justice in reverse. You also have the Ten of, ten of Swords in reverse. And I say also because it's both like swords, cards in reverse that mean pain and both of you are trying to heal from something. We have the Knight of Cups. That's how you're seeing them. So they could be coming towards you with an offer in September. But you are kind of bored with it in September. Six of Pentacles. It could feel like a one-sided situation. You could be the only one putting an effort here or feel that way. You got the King of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this is... Some of you are helping someone who has an addiction and you're constantly having to help them. Why the Three of Swords in reverse? Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person is trying to heal and they're trying to heal from something. Some of you, they could come from a dysfunctional family or there's drama in their family. They're trying to take back their power in a situation. Something, this could be addiction for some of you because they seem overpowered by something. Why the chariot in reverse? I'm hearing that for some of you, you may think your person drinks occasionally, but they may actually have an addiction to drinking. It doesn't have to be for everyone, but I'm, I'm seeing like a secret addiction for some of you with this person. So again, their energy, five of swords, sitting down thinking, hesitant to change. This person, they do more thinking than doing and they're fearful of change. They're trying to resist change. It's like they're choosing to stay stagnant and you're very frustrated with that. Why the 10 of swords in reverse? You feel stuck. Fed up, running out of patience. Why the Four of Cups in reverse? Okay, Five of Swords, King of Pentacles. This could be costing you financially or you're trying to improve your financial situation. Or you may end up focusing on that. Yeah, some of you are some of you are releasing something, some kind of burden so that your financial situation can improve in September. Why the Knight of Cups? Why is Virgo seeing them as a Knight of Cups? Ace of Cups. This is either this person coming with an apology or it's someone new coming into your life that you're seeing. For some of you, you could already have met them or have a crush on someone already. Or this is your person giving you an offer with a new perspective on the relationship with the hierophant again this person sees you as someone they want to be with long term but they seem to be fighting some kind of demon here fighting against something having to think about it they're they're fighting something it could be addiction or some kind of way that they're stuck in they want you but they're stuck in a way i don't know what this is this is what's keeping them stuck. Why the King of Swords in... Oh my God, seriously. Hold on. The tower fell out. 
Let's see if it comes back out. Why the why the King of Swords in reverse? Hmm. I'm hearing a relapse. If this is an addiction, you may see this person relapse, and that's when you're gonna that's gonna be the last straw for you, and you're gonna move on. That's if you're dealing with an addiction situation. But I see an ending happening here and moving on. And it's frustrate like someone's moving on because they're frustrated. It looks like it's you. It looks like it's you being frustrated with this person. Why the Hierophant? You see how they still have the fool in reverse? They got the Hierophant as how they see you. Three of Swords again. They see you as their spouse, but they're hesitant to take that leap. Love is in reverse. Some of you, this person could be fearful of you cheating. Or they've been cheating on in the past and they're fearful of that. They probably haven't healed from the last person who cheated on them. Now they're looking at you feeling like you could do the same. So they're hesitant. Or it's addiction. Them trying to fight an addiction, hoping to be with you and then kind of failing. What do we have? Okay. Forgiving and learning as you release the past, you experience more love in your present moment. What do we have for Virgo? Past life re relationship. You've known each other before. Let your friends help you. Some of your friends have been telling you stuff, is what I'm hearing. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, and we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow you in a youthful spirit of fun to shine. This could be with this person or someone that you meet. It does say keep your options open. What's going on with Virgo for September? Money versus love. See, some of you are seeing this as a financial burden. You're releasing it. Sadness and grief. That's like the three of swords unfinished business and romance there is this thing where you want to have patience with this person you want to be with them but they are just not picking themselves up they may even be costing you either money or energy they feel like they have unfinished business with you but they might not be able to hold it together What's going on with Virgo? A young male. This is someone who, um, for some of you, it's someone who is older but acts young. Dating queen. New love. Gossip in reverse. Some of you, there may have been people gossiping, but they're gonna, the gossip is, the rumors are gonna be squashed. What I'm seeing is someone who really wants to be with you but isn't doing what they need to do and you becoming frustrated. There's like a decision for you to make. Some of you could be at a crossroads needing to decide if you're going to feed this anymore or move on because some of you it's costly. Okay, so I don't know if this person's taking a leap. I just see somebody being fed up and moving on. That's the outcome, basically, for September. But this is general, and fate is in your hands. Well, your fate is, is for you to create. But from where the energy is at right now, it looks like this person is just making you frustrated. So it's really up to you. So this is what I'm seeing, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Libra. So I hope this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.